Hello, everybody. I'm Will. And I'm Kristen. And so I'm watching the show, your new favorite pop culture YouTube channel, where we talk about movies, TV, music, and more. I wanted to record an intro because we're going to release some very old test footage of ours ah. that was Riverdale. We covered season one and two of Riverdale. And because we have had so much fun with that show, for better and worse, <laughs> and because it's been one of some of our most popular content, I was like, we've got this footage. It's not great like our audio is bad yeah. we look different there is no set yeah. but i think ultimately at the end of the day i think the conversation is good mm -hmm. and i think it's it, it, it's worth releasing it's in my old dining room <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we're definitely gonna release season two and that's what this is this is just a, a little intro for our riverdale season two content so you gotta have options ah, I see. <laughs> so please do enjoy Okay, uh, episode six, which is, this one's called Death Proof. I don't know why, because they did the Death Proof thing in the proof. Oh, the car race? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's why it's called Death Proof. They did the- death Yeah, but there's not really car racing in Death Proof. Well, well, kind of, but- There's a, there's like a- No one's playing ship's mast. Not in this. No. Yeah. But there's like I told a... you about that friend of mine that broke her leg playing ship's mast. Yeah, no shit. It's a really dumb idea. They were, in her defense, they were very drunk at the time. Oh, good. That That's definitely not a factor. <laughs> You were saying something? Um, they did the like ass kicking part of Death Proof in the last episode, mm -hmm. but this one is like, there is like a, it's not like a, there's a drag race in mm -hmm. Death Proof the movie. They're like, you know, they're driving parallel to each other, trying to like, oh, oh well, kind run. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I and was like, there's not like a countdown. No, like no, a no. Okay. So, um That's why I was going to say it's not official, but like no drag races sure, are sure, official. Sure, sure, They're sure. all underground. Uh so um this was progressing the plots. The the drag race is the big the, the big showy scene. Yeah. Um but Basically, this is this is the introduction of the ghoulies. It's not really the introduction, but the, the first sense of the ghoulies that we get. Because we and, meet their leader, Malachi. Yeah, and he's not in a lot of it, is he's he? He's not in a lot of it, and the, the only reason I even remotely knew who he was is, in case anybody watching this also watches Good Trouble, he plays Gael mm. on that, and he is decidedly more appealing on Good Trouble than he is on this. Well, they like their. I guess the ghoulies are like infringing into serpent territory, which I, the, like we've alluded to the fact that the serpents get some fleshing out of their backstory. Mm -hmm. they, they, they get an origin story. But that, I feel like it's not till season three. Yeah. Yeah. But regardless, it um, it might be this season to tell you the truth. But no, it's um, with the it's with the gargoyle king. Hmm. Um. So it it makes some of this stuff make a little bit more sense because the the the. Serpents are very much like, we're not like a gang. We're not a regular gang. We're like, we're like a, a cool gang. We're a good gang. <laughs> and the ghoulies are a bad gang and they're infiltrating. Well, the ghoulies are doing, are like doing a lot more of the like hard drug distribution. Yeah. Where the serpents are like, like, like FP said, the serpents are doing like dime bags of weed. Well, it's like, and, and like, and like chemi chemistry drugs and stuff. Yeah. Where it's like. The jingle jangle yeah. is the ghoulies situation. Um, so Jughead is like accepting the mantle of being king of the serpents, and so he's like trying to. Except for after all this time, where Tallboy was like, "Take this jacket, become your father." He's like, he literally is. Tallboy's like, the one that's in league with the ghoulies. Well, Tallboy's in league with the ghoulies, and he's like, "You're not the leader of us just by blood." And I was like, <laughs> "Is that not what you've been telling him this whole time?" It's, but yeah, it, yeah. This, this is I think when we stop liking Tallboy because he keeps doing shit like this. There's just there's yeah yeah yeah. There, there's a lot of like little character revealing <clears throat> moments in this because I just was writing down lines as I thought they were important, mm -hmm. and we get the rhetoric with the Black Hood and Betty mm -hmm. because the Black Hood does not actually kill Nick St. Clair. Right. He just wants to know that Betty would name someone, yeah. and he chooses to verbalize that in 
a moment of nakedness, I saw the real Betty and she was beautiful. And it's just, oh. It's so icky. The psychosexual shit on this show is so icky. And we get, <clears throat> we get just some doozy plot points from Cheryl. Yeah. Uh, because <laughs> I wrote down, me thinks there might be reasons why Cheryl is the way that she is. Yes. Because <laughs> she wants to, at, at the end of the last episode, she was like, I'm going to press charges on Nick St. Clair, and I want his kids to be in prison, essentially. <laughs> it's like where she's like, salt the earth kind of a situation. So then come to find out, the St. Clairs are going to pay off Penelope so that they won't press charges against Nick and meanwhile and stay in business and, with and well then the lodges will stay in business with the St. Clairs mm -hmm. as well well when Veronica finds that out she like stomps up to it's like one of the only times that her her saying something to her parents actually brings the yeah. results she's hoping for yeah. and it's like like this is the first and last time that happens because then at the end of the episode the St. Clairs are in a car accident and mm -hmm. they're going to survive, but still. Or at least Nick is going to yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember <laughs> seeing them again. I think they died. And I think <laughs> Nick's... <laughs> I think that's what happened. I can't. Because <laughs> they mean, don't say it, but they're like, right. the, the, the St. Clairs are in a terrible accident, but Nick survived. And yeah. it's like, ooh. And Nick will recover. Yeah, in a few months' time. Because don't the next time we see him, isn't he in like a, like a comical body cast? Well, he's no, like from I head it, to toe. I think it's only legs. <laughs> but you might, you might be right. <laughs> but um, did we mention Tony and Jughead in the last coverage? Oh, they hooked up. Yeah, they kiss. She calls it a PG-13 makeout session. <laughs> That's the scream jumping out because it teenagers is. do not talk that way in this day and age. Because no. for starters, it is a fucking like free for all yeah. with kids. I can't. They are watching shit that I can't even imagine. Yeah. Also, zero kids are stopping at PG-13. Yeah. Well, and furthermore, I was like, they're not like PG-13. Like going to the theater isn't even on their radar. It's like sure. they're watching whatever's on Netflix yeah. or like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if anything, it's like TV for or TVMA yeah. or whatever. So it, it's cute, but no. Uh, and this is where we get confirmation or or even just introduced to the information that Tony prefers girls. Yeah. So. But she obviously, like, had an okay time with mm -hmm. Jughead, so she is, I think she is definitely She's a true bi queen. Yeah, she, <laughs> she for sure is. Uh, we had a really fun scene where Alice <laughs> Cooper continuing to be <laughs> the best. <laughs> Sugar-free extra bubble gum. <laughs> um, just pink. Uh, brings all the kids and their parents together to have a meeting. When I heard what happened at Nick's party, I decided that we should come together to deal with this motley crew of liars, dope fiends, and fornicators. Except for my Betty, who was smart enough to leave the party before it descended into a Bucknellian free-for-all. Oh Mom, please don't. <laughs> yeah. And it is interesting. It's not a long scene, but it's interesting seeing them all in a scene together. And again, with the short stick, short end of the stick that uh, Josie gets, there is one line from Sierra, and not even a line from Josie, just a, just a act, a, yeah. a reaction moment from Ashley Murray, where Sierra says, "Josie, you did it too, even knowing your father's history with addiction," mm -hmm. and which I mean, they have to have mentioned that in season one. I, I didn't. I don't. I didn't make a point of it. Yeah, but. I don't remember. I was paying attention to the stuff with her dad, too, because I was, like, remembering when he was such a dick. Mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. Ashley's reaction is very sort of, like, like you literally see her want to defend herself. Yeah. Just you took that drug? You put that poison in your system knowing the way your father struggled with addiction? I see. But then between, you know... The, and I don't want to use the word trauma to refer to her mother scolding her, but it's mm. like you can tell. The embarrassment. Yeah, but also it's like, yeah, there, there a lot happened on her face yeah. in a one second reaction shot. I also forgot what a hard ass Sierra is at the beginning. A man, like, so. The Riverdale women. <laughs> Like, up to and including Nana Rose. Like, I'm not saying it's bad, but no. it's also, it's so harsh. And then they do this raid on Southside High and Sierra. Hilarious. Sierra McCoy is. So funny. 
first in the door, unarmed. She's be- like beautiful. Queen she's like a Sierra Valkyrie, <laughs> where she's like pointing, and she's got like a yeah. like itch. Her her wind, her hair is blowing in the wind, and her wings are yeah. Like she 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 finds she's like a that, fury. She finds like, that fan like Beyonce. Yeah, she's like, like a fury <laughs> coming in for justice with with um with Tom Keller next yeah. to her, which again mild spoilers, but. <laughs> um, yeah, and it it is hilarious because it's sort of like slow motion, yeah. and like all the all all the serpents in the hall are like. <sighs> yeah, and I feel like Tony has like a gaping head her, wound at one point. But also, but her hair it, is yeah, like her hair is amazing. <laughs> like, her, hair, her hair is consistently incredible, but she's also it gets like pinker. She's like bleeding from yeah. a gash in her head, which and is like, miraculously gone at the drag race. Archie gets, and it, it's so funny because it, there's like it's like a, a like a like a zone or like a orbit or oh, something because yeah. mm-hmm. it's like the second Archie and Jughead are out of the door with their like hands pressed yeah. against the window <laughs> they're safe they're like, like the little match girl yeah. they're out there they're like, 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 <laughs> oh is everything okay it's a good thing we passed that threshold yeah um, it's like the stairs so the wheeler stairs on yeah, Stranger yeah. Things so there's also uh, I remember him being a bigger deal several ways over but we, we get the sugar man in mm. this uh, and on that note, we did neglect to mention that Jughead has a hot ass lit teacher. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he was a villain in the last season of the originals. Mm. Yeah, um, he was awful on that though. <laughs> well, he so, spoiler alert: uh, he's the he's can, the sugar, the sugar man, man <laughs> who is real. It's a lot of build up to to nothing. Yeah, I also thought I remembered it going more than one episode. Well, I think it does because like, someone replaces him. Yeah, well, okay, I remember. Yeah, yes. okay, okay. Someone replaces him. But again, it's still a lot of build up to nothing. And I was like, as we were, as he was being arrested, I was like, this feels weird. I was like, I feel like we don't see him more, but it seems like we should. And then the end of the episode, yeah. the black hood is like, pow. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, there's yeah. that. Uh, we have neglected so far to mention that Betty is, for half the episode, dressed like Rosie the Riveter. <laughs> it's very cute. Sure. Uh, yeah, uh, I, well, I did write down, this is just a, a note, but considering what this show is, considering how silly it, it certainly can be accused of being um, and how frivolous it, it, it can be perceived as, it really is a very, very, very quality production. Yeah. We've talked a lot about the acting, almost all of the acting being good if not great yeah uh and a decent amount of the writing i think is very good and this show gets shit on for bad writing and i'm like you don't understand genre yeah it's not it is not poorly written it's yeah like it's not that the dialogue is bad it's that it's or even the plot yeah yeah uh now that's not to say that there aren't but there are bad yeah there aren't missteps (laughs) but it it it, the behind the scenes talent in this show it is it is so beautifully filmed it looks so expensive Mm -hmm. and it's not cheap but it can't but it's not expensive like because it almost i i mean not not consistently but the lighting especially i would say is really on the verge of like american gods and they do good. well certainly like an american horror story is yeah. where i thought you were going but they because they, they they pull tricks they pull camera tricks which that requires that requires uh um pre-pro like mm-hmm. uh, uh storyboarding and, and all that and it requires you know changing the rigs and switching out like shots and something like that because which last... is especially hard on a weekly film yeah. television show and we know from experience that they're only about three or four episodes ahead yeah I think it's five at, at the most, or yeah. five episodes ahead. But um, in last week's episode, there's a shot where Cheryl, once she is already roofied, there's a, and it's a short shot, but the camera is upside down mm-hmm. as she like stumbles through the hall and yeah. stuff. And then it smash cuts and it like, it intentionally crosses the line. Right. And it like, it, it's very good. And, and, and there's, there's a handful of, um, well, Dutch angles are tilted this mm. way, but I forget what it's called when it's an actual fluid. Mm. Like, it does this a handful of times. But there's a shot in this windshield episode. Wiper. <laughs> They're windshielding all over the place. <laughs> there's a shot in this episode where <clears throat> Cheryl's in Thistle House and the lighting and the atmosphere is exceptionally mm-hmm. good with the well, blue and the red. there's always, like, fireplaces mm-hmm. going, too, in most of these places. And uh, she's going through her, like, keepsakes and stuff, and she finds a picture she drew as a child of the Sugar Man. And when she realizes it's the Sugar Man, the camera like cuts to a wide shot, 
and there's a stone lion in the foreground, but it, it the way it's positioned, it looks like it's menacing Cheryl. Mm-hmm. And you can even hear a roar. As it continues to pull yeah, up. Yeah, as like the yeah. music is like kind of building and stuff. And so those are just little details that are not mm-hmm. necessary, but absolutely yeah. like add to the experience of watching the show. It, it really is, is, it is a show that is, is good. It, it, it's, it's very it's, good. <laughs> um, the street race, uh, it, uh, they were right, racing the ghoulies for stuff. It, and, like for control of Southside High yeah. and stuff and like the drugs, like to get the drugs out of Rockville. And Archie. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> <laughs> when, when I because I had forgotten again, like we've said every episode, I forgot what happened. But when he like, he just is such a wimp sometimes, and he like he was like Jughead, I'm not gonna risk it all for this race. And I was like, well, what? Then first of all, why are you in the car? Second of all, why did you go along with all of this? And then he fucking pulls the emergency brake, and Jughead is rightfully furious. Except for that, we find out after that that Archie actually did have a medium decent plan. Which was that he well, called Sheriff Well, he had Keller. an immediate plan. And I mean, yes. He didn't have a good plan or a, like... <laughs> it's not a long-term plan. No, it is not a long-term plan. Basically, across the bridge and then around the corner, Sher- he called Just Sheriff Keller... Just around the urban. Just around the urban. <laughs> he told Sheriff Keller to be waiting so that the ghoulies would get caught. And so, but then Jughead, again, is rightfully upset because he's like, we were... This race would have gotten them off our backs forever but now they're going to go to jail and then they'll be right back out. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, it's like, it's it's the way that Archie thinks. He's got an immediate solution, but he doesn't... Archie is no good at chess. Let's say that. Which, back at the Lodge House, apparently they spend their free time all together in a dark room lit only by firelight while Veronica reads, like, The Art of War or something. I think it was and just then... the newspaper, but... <laughs> And then Hiram and Hermione play drunk chess. Yeah. In which apparently Hiram always wins, which yeah, that's a little on the nose. I think that Hiram wins because Hermione doesn't know how to play chess. <laughs> well, I was gonna say she's letting him win, which is uh, what we thought at this point. Yeah, but, but <laughs> there's so. there's no long term proof to support no. that theory. So, um, is there anything else from this episode? I think that's about it. Really, it was just checking in on things. I saw that you made a note about Cheryl's cheeseburger. Is this when she's eating oh, with a fork and knife? Yeah, <laughs> she, Cheryl is just absolutely mangling this cheeseburger <laughs> with a fork and knife. She's going at it like it's a well done steak, and it's like it looks like she's quartered it. Yeah, and then it, I mean, she she might as well have been like playing like drums, yeah. like <laughs> smashing it. Like it's the weirdest thing in the world, and that's when Nick comes in and like gets in her face and yeah. stuff. I forgot. I was getting mad at you reading my notes, but it appears well, you need you to be glad? because... <laughs> now aren't you glad I saw something? <laughs> Should I own the burger? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, cool. So I think that's about it for Death Proof. And if we missed anything, we'll catch it next round. Yep. So. All right. Bye.